So then, Andy, head marshal of the World Catfish Classic for the second year running. What, what, uh, how have, uh, have you got everything ready for, for the event this year? Well, like I said, we come over uh, to uh, look at the lake a couple of, couple of months ago. Obviously, the water then was well, way down to what it is now. Um, so it gives, a, it gives us a bit of a chance to, uh, to see the swims in the areas. Uh, but obviously, what we weren't expecting was the water to come up so quickly and so much. Uh, so obviously, it's got its challenges. There's obviously, some of the swims aren't... Uh, Peggable now, but we're over in a new new section we're going to use this year. Hopefully, get five new pegs. It's close to the riverbed as well, so we're expecting some good fish here. There's good fish just crashed there. Um, so yeah, this is a, this is a nice area, some nice pegs. So we're expecting some more fish to come from here. The river's fishing really well uh, since we've been here. Um, it catches a 30, 40 fish uh, a day, but they tend to be the smaller ones at the moment, up to 30, 40 kilos. But uh, hopefully, the bigger fish. I'll be out next uh, next week during the competition and uh, and feeding, but it uh, all bodes well. So then, Andy, uh, as well as the the catfish, uh, have you seen any carp over here? Yeah, plenty of carp. Even today, obviously, is probably the hottest day we've had since we've been over here, and it uh, looks like the carp are having a go at spawning. So it's plenty of carp as usual here, and uh, there's been some nice ones caught um, up to 30, 40 pound. Big big ones don't, again don't seem to be about at the moment, but. Uh, I expect one or two of them will turn up during the competition as well on the, on the halibut pellets.